Welcome back, guys. Straight White coming at you again with a little bit more uh, Minecraft. We're uh, making things happen, so uh, today we actually will make things happen. That's going to be pretty exciting. I figured uh, I'd bring you guys in here. We talk a little bit about uh, some, just a few things while you watch this uh, moon set. We get some sunlight. We're going to go find some coal. But uh, if you guys are curious about what's going on with this game, um, I am running Optifine. Uh, it's the newest version. It's like uh, like 11.7b, something crazy like that. I'm not sure exactly what the number is, but Optifine is running. And I also have the HD uh, vanilla texture pack on here, too. Uh, it said it's not um, compatible with this version, but I think that just means that there's like new items that aren't part of the, uh, the uh, texture pack. Those won't be included, so everything else seems to be working just fine. Like, things look pretty good. That's, oh, that's, oh, that's some real nice dirt. It's looking real good. Some of the nicest dirt I've ever seen. Yeah, I tweaked around with some of the settings in the uh, game, too. Yeah, I switched around some of the uh, the video settings and the details and stuff. Um, just to what I think looks good. And I'm sitting at a solid um, 60 frames per second. Um, it dips every now and then. Uh, I, did, uh, I did turn on some things that affect it, like... The clear water seemed to have a pretty big impact on my frame rate, and um, I did like the um, realistic texture thing where it like rotates textures so they're not the exact same. And I don't really notice a difference yet. Maybe it'll look better as we uh, continue to go on. Maybe I'll, I'll notice it more, but yeah, we haven't really done too much yet. But yeah, so the sun seems to be coming out now. So let's go ahead and. Let's actually make something happen. So we got this, where we left off, we had this little hovel dug out here. And let's go ahead and we'll just, uh, oh, this is going to take forever. I need an axe, don't I? Oh, ah, it'll be all right. So we'll go ahead and drag this over here and throw it in our little uh, our little hole. And uh, <laughs> let's let's get a way to mark this. I want to make sure I don't lose it. That's going to be annoying if I do. So we got a little marker there. Now we're going to go and first things first, we need some coal. In a bad way. We really need some light because that last episode, I went back and watched it a little bit. And yeah, sorry, I know you guys couldn't really see much of anything. That's uh, pretty annoying. I'll be sure to, to do a better job of that here moving forward. But yeah, I thought we'd just kind of swing around here. I know I noticed this last time. I didn't mention anything about it. This is a pretty cool little cave. I really like it. Um, we'll probably go dig around in there. Actually, is that... I thought I saw coal in there. Maybe not. It's just really dark. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's try our luck. Maybe we can find some down here. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully we don't get uh, just destroyed by some creeps. I see some light down there. And sure enough, we got some coal right here. So let's scoop this up real quick. Let's get let's get a torch. <laughs> I just want one torch. Give me anything. I just want to be able to see. We'll throw those in there. All right. Oh, that is so nice being able to see with the torch in your hand. It's so cool. All right. So we're going to... This feels good. It's fluffy. Scoop up some of this coal. Let's use up this annoying wooden pickaxe. Hopefully we can get rid of it soon. So kind of my game plan for today. We're, so obviously we're going to get coal... And then we're going to establish our base a little bit more, get some iron stuff and things going. And <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to copy Slipgator. I just watch them all the time, so um, it's just kind of a habit. So I'll try and I'll try and not do that too much. Say is I don't I don't want to take his stuff and things um, phrase from him, but uh, yeah, we'll I'll, I'll I'll get my own. We'll use uh, making it happen. That's our that's our phrase. So we're gonna make things happen. We're gonna get some light going with some iron tools, and then oh. Now we're done with the wooden one. Cool. And then, yeah, we'll probably uh, move out of that little hovel as soon as we can. Just because, I don't know, living out of the side of a mountain is kind of cool. But I'd rather have my own little house. I'd rather make something cool. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, let's take a look down here real quick. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. Oh, that's just as good. I'll take that. Oh, another one? Oh, man. I'm so not ready for this right now. It would almost be better if he just exploded. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Just die. I got things to do. Hopefully nobody comes up there. So we'll, uh, yeah, let's grab some of this iron real quick. That'll be good to have. Um, I grabbed a little bit in the last episode too. I didn't mention it, but uh, I did run into some when I was digging in that area where you guys just literally, literally couldn't see anything. Sorry about that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we got some iron going. We got, oh, even more coal, even better. Oh, we'll have light for days. And nights. Uh -huh. <laughs> It'll be perfect. So, oh, oh, we got another cave over here. Well, the extension of this cave. Hopefully nobody comes to greet us. Looks like we should be all right. Oh, there's more iron there, too? Oh, man. Oh, we really, really hit the big time. Well... That must be it. We just, we beat the game. We got all the iron. We got all the coal. That's it. That's all there is to Minecraft. That's the end, guys. <laughs> no, we still got to get, like, diamonds and stuff, too. And, yeah, like I was saying before, we'll make some sweet machines. I want to get a cool, like, wheat harvester. The one that Slip uses in his uh, Surviving Sliptopia, it's all right. It uses a lot of bone meal, which is cool. But I would rather have, like, he, the one he, the first one he made, it was really cool. It was, like, uh, he used water, and it sent water down as soon as he uh, finished like growing it, it would send water down and, and harvest it, and then it would like all float down to the end, which is cool. I think it would be even cooler if it was on like a hill, like some big giant hill, and there were like streams of water going down the sides, and then it actually like moved down the whole entire hill. That would be a cool way to do it. So I might try and do something like that. Um, but for now, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get some things going in our base. So let's climb back out of here. I think I actually do remember where I, I'm at. And uh, yeah, we'll head back over there and we'll make some iron and some torches and get things lit up. It'll be good. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention really quick, sorry about the annoying keyboard. I know that's probably not very fun to listen to. I am in the process of trying to get a new keyboard here. Um, <laughs> the story behind this keyboard. So the computer I'm actually on right now, I built it like, oh, like two, three, four years ago. It's got a GTX uh, 670 in it. Which, uh, if you're not familiar with like graphics cards, that's like like four generations behind. It's uh, pretty old. So uh, when I when I built it, I didn't really know a lot about com computers. I like learned everything I know from watching like Newegg and uh, learning how they do things, and um, watching Paul Paul's hardware when he worked at Newegg. I learned from him, and yeah, I just didn't know a whole lot about it when I first did it, but the uh, keyboard I got I just wanted a cool one with blue backlit keys so so I bought like the first one I could see and it had cherry mx blue switches in it and yeah if you don't know anything about M cherry mx switches cherry mx blues are like the loudest switches in the world they're like made to sound like a type white typewriter <laughs> a typewriter so they're like super clickety clacky and they're like oh, like like super annoying like my my roommates complain to me they're like oh man your keyboard's so loud I'm like, I know, I can't help it. So I need to fix that. I'm going to try and get a uh, new one here soon. But sorry about that. It's I'm working on it. So hopefully soon we'll have a more discreet keyboard and you guys won't have to deal with that quite as much. Uh, let's get a couple more of these going. Um, I want to get a few so we can speed up the whole process of making oop, making this whatever it is iron that's right so we'll get there let's go ahead and pop that in there pop that in there we should have enough yep we got three so let's go ahead and make ourselves an iron wait a second oh i used all my sticks that's right let's go <laughs> Jeez. let's go get some sticks real quick um and you probably noticed last time too when i was harvesting that tree I probably looked pretty silly the way I was doing it, but that's another thing. I just don't like having trees like that are not completely cut down. Cause like once you uh, when you're like building like uh, chopping down trees, if you don't take away the all the, like the tree parts, the leaves won't go away. And having like floating trees and like floating islands that actually bothers me. I don't like it. I think it looks ugly. It's like annoying, honestly. And, like, I should fill it up with dirt so it doesn't take so long to, to get down. But, yeah, it's, it just looks so ugly when there's, like, floating stuff. I wish they could, like, fix that. I don't know. Maybe there is a way to fix that. If you guys know anything about it, 
like Elliot, you, you can make sure there's no floating stuff in your uh, map. That would be super cool because, I don't know, I, I like to keep it classy around here, you know, this, this is going to be a classy channel, I think, so if we can uh, if we can make things look good, that's going to be key to me. And you'll see the uh, the frame rate does, it, or not the frame rate, but the game itself kind of locks up every now and then. I'm not sure if that has to do with uh, shadow play, that's what I'm using to record. Or if it's like just my settings on my game, I'll screw around with stuff as we kind of progress here, and um, hopefully we can get that all straightened out. Now I don't want to burn up all this coal. Let's make sure we're not just wasting it. And yeah, let's take all that iron. Ooh, man! Oh, so much iron! Oh, we're gonna get so much done. Okay, so let's make some. Oh, I had planks the whole time. Wow. Yeah, like I said, guys, certainly no expert at this game. So. Sorry about that. I just wasted so much time doing that. Let's make a bunch of sticks. All right, we have sticks now. Um, I, I try to stay organized with my uh, menu. We'll go ahead and keep things in like an order of sorts. Dirt we can keep for pillaring. We'll throw that under there. I actually like the cobblestone for pillaring, so dirt we can throw like behind that. Ironing, it's going to be there. And then usually on the five key, one, two, three, four, five, I like to have my torches just because that's where I keep things. But yeah, let's go ahead and we'll make first off a pickaxe. So we have a pickaxe now. This we can go ahead and just, oh, what did I drop? Sticks. We'll just toss that down there or something. And we're also going to make a sword because we need to be able to defend ourselves. So. One sword. Also, I want a axe. So we'll get an axe going too. I believe that is... What the heck? Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know I did that. Well, that's fancy. Cool. So we'll get an axe going. But yeah, if you double click on something, it picks up like a, a whole stack of whatever you're double clicking on. I had no idea. That's cool. So we have an axe, pickaxe, sword. We still have 13 more ingots, ingots. So what else do we need? Um, armor would be okay. Do I really need an iron shovel? I, I guess I probably should get an iron shovel. It's probably not a bad idea. So let's go ahead and I think that's just, yeah, just like that. All right. And armor is not a bad idea, but for the sake of I know I'm going to need one, let's go ahead and just make another pickaxe right away just because I'm a hundred percent certain I will need one very shortly so that should be good for now let's do a helmet I guess well you know what as long as I have it yeah let's just go with that I'm pretty sure that gives you the most armor And let's how do, how do I look? Oh yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good, man. We're looking good. All right. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm. I've, I was, excuse me. I've always been a fan of the uh, like vanilla textures. I think they look cool, and uh, the HD ones are just as cool. Just because like I don't know, it's, you still get that Minecraft feel, but it looks a little nicer. I mean, we're dealing with uh, cubes, honestly, but. Um, whatever. No big deal. Who really cares? So, okay, we've got all of our, um, tools that we need. One, two, three, four, five. We've got light, which is exciting. Tell you what, why don't we dig a little bit and, um, see what we can find. Ugh, we'll just use this up, I guess. Um, oh, sweet, some iron right here. All right, so we're really, uh, making it happen. Okay, so let's grab this real quick, I guess. And... I think what we'll do is we'll just dig down a little bit and uh, say if we come across a cave, that'd be pretty neat. If not, that's all right. We'll start up a little uh, mine here, I guess. And then when the when the day starts, as soon as this night cycle's over, we'll go and um, find something to do. We'll build like a house or something. And I'm thinking we'll start like a temporary house, just like uh, something to keep us alive something to you know make something i mean make it look cool i guess you know nothing too fancy but 
we'll get a nice little house going and then from there once we're kind of established we got some nice tools and stuff we'll move forward and start doing um some more advanced builds builds i guess you could say but yeah it doesn't look like this is uh oh all right we got a cave hey sounds good to me now hopefully we don't get just wrecked in this cave that looks like it turns into a nice big ravine these oh, I thought these were these are so cool these are just awesome is that not just like one of the coolest things you've ever seen i think if we yeah f1 gets rid of the uh I took a little screenshot. I think I took a screenshot. F2, I'm pretty sure, does it. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah just a screenshot. Screenshot saved. All right. So, yeah. We are pretty much where we're going to be. We'll uh, throw some... Oh. You know what? The uh, torchlight from your hand is kind of misleading. I, usually, I'm like, oh, it's dark. I need to throw down a torch. But now, I actually have light when I'm walking with one. So, this doesn't really lead anywhere. That's cool. Oh, well. That's all right. Let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? I could use this to get down if I wanted to. The water. Do we want to go down there? Um, I really need to get some food things going first. So let's go ahead and head back up for now. And, um, yeah, we'll get some food going. And then we will get to building something like a house. Sounds good. So... You know what? This is my uh, second video. We could try a little bit of editing magic. Let's do a little cut, and then when I come back, hopefully be, we'll uh, be in a little bit better situation as far as survival is concerned. So, see you guys in just a little bit. Hey, everybody. And we're back. Under the cover of night. Like thugs or criminals. Doing some building. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, really, uh, we actually are uh, back now, and we uh, did a few things, so lots of things happened, and I'll kind of go over that really quick. So, I did get all my armor. So, armor is on now. Um, oh, and I'm getting attacked, so we're using it. Oh, oh there you are. Do we, will he shoot the pig? I wonder if he... Oh, no, he will not shoot the pig. Get in there. Uh. All right. Oh, that was rough. So, yeah, we shot the pig. Oh, yeah, and uh, just to let you know, so that little starter base we had right over there, if you can see, there's a little pillar. I came right up here, and I found a place where I'm going to do the building now. Um, so here's the plan. I have marked out these little uh, blocks here where I, I plan on doing things. One, two, uh, not another one. Two. Uh oh. Come over here. Ooh! Doing this at night was probably a bad idea. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. I guess swarming them is probably the best idea. Hit him! What is happening? All right, we're going to die. So that's always good, too. All right, so my plan was to show you guys how my building is going, but apparently <laughs> we're just going to fight for our life. And that's the game plan right now. So let's eat some food so I can heal. Okay, so I mapped these out right here. Two, three, four, and this is where I'm going to build. So I guess we'll just get started on that real quick here. And then kill the zombie once it gets over here. Luckily, zombies are easy. So, yeah, we're going to just fill this in. Basically, what I'm thinking for this build is... Oh, those witches are not good news. I need to stay away from them. But we're going to do just like a cobblestone base. Just like this. And then I think we'll do like... So, I got a couple different kinds of wood. I got some... I think it was spruce wood. Now it's oak and birch. That's what I have. So, oak and birch are the two woods I got. So we're going to do, I'm either, oh, I'm not sure what I want to do. I either want to do, well, the bottom floor is going to be cobblestone, of course. So that's kind of 
We'll we'll upgrade to like actual like stone slabs eventually, but we're gonna start as cobblestone, and then we're gonna go to um, like stone slates. We'll do like half slabs or something. I don't know. We'll do something. I'm not sure what it's gonna be exactly yet, but yeah, I think we'll do a little bit of editing magic. Do like a speedy update right now, and then uh, I'll show you guys the complete um, finished product of like what we actually made. So. Uh, yeah, enjoy the little uh, buildy part, and I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So I did a little bit of work here. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, uh, it's very simple. I actually, uh, I'm not done obviously. So what I threw together is I just did uh, the stone foundation like I was saying. I'm going to put up some fences around the outside here. Around the outside, around the outside. And then uh, on the inside, it's just an open square right now. I'm going to do a oh, rectangle I suppose. But I'm going to do more with it. Obviously I'll put doors on here. But um yeah, I kind of hit my time limit for today. I think tomorrow we'll actually spend the most, the majority of the time, like actually doing the building portion of this, uh, where we'll actually put together like a cool looking thing. I just wanted to have like a starting place where I would just, you know, be able to be um, tomorrow. So I'll start off before I get on the camera. I'll actually go ahead and move everything over from our old uh, base over here, and then uh, put everything away. Get some storage going. Maybe I might do like a little like basement storage area or something. And then uh, we'll probably do like a top, like, you know, over here, like maybe some kind of, maybe like a library sort of thing where we'll put our enchanter um, storage. There'll be like a subsection where we just do like all our, um, like uh, the furnaces where we actually do like the creating ores and stuff. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. But for now, I think we're going to call it a day. I mean, this is a pretty decent sized video. I think it went a little longer than I meant to. Obviously, we're going to kind of hone in the uh, the movie making or the uh, video making as we, we progress. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. It's been a, a real fun time. I've had, a, I've had a good time with you guys and I hope you did too. Um, please, if you have any suggestions or comments, any ideas like, you know, where I could go to check out good, cool ideas for building, um, please leave me a comment. I'd be happy to take a look at them or talk to you about what we could do with this. Um, and yeah, if you liked the video, if you thought it was a good time, please throw me a like. Uh, if you want to see more of what we're doing here, go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's, uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm planning to do one video every day. Um, hopefully it doesn't get out of, out of control and, uh, you know, we're, uh, doing super long videos every day. I think this was close to 20 minutes, maybe longer. I don't know. We'll see, but I appreciate you guys again and, uh, yeah, just have the best kind of day. All right. See you later.